We're here at Missouri Botanical Garden in the Linnaean House, and we're housing right now one of our Amorphophallus titanum, commonly known as the Forbes flower, that is currently in its reproductive cycle right now. So it can bloom any day now. It generally takes about 10 years to go from seed to bloom. This particular plant took about 14 years to go from seed to bloom, and now it's 16 years old and it's, it's doing its second bloom. It is very tall. This is the tallest one we've ever had, which is seven foot nine inches tall. Why do people like to come to see this plant? Well, first off, it's commonly known as the corpse plant or the corpse flower. And that is because when it does start to open or to bloom, it lets off a very unpleasant odor that smells like a corpse per se. The spadix, the center column actually, um, heats up to about 99 degrees. And then the chemicals that are inside of it are those similar to Limburger cheese, uh, smelly socks, old dirty socks, and feces. Everybody has their own thoughts of what it smells like. One youngster said one day it smelled like his sister's diapers. Other people say it smells like a rotting mouse. Some smell a lot worse than others. We've had them smell so bad that you could smell it as soon as you got out of the car in the parking lot. We've had it to the point where you could barely smell it at all. So it just kind of depends on each bloom and the environmental factors around it. The time that any plant or any flower will smell is when it's attracting its pollinators, when the pollinators are active and this particular species actually is a nighttime bloomer so it starts generally to open in late afternoon and it continues to open throughout the darkness of the night until it's fully open. It usually peaks its smell when it's open all the way because that's when the flies or dung beetles are most likely to come to the plant. If you want to see it in full bloom it only stays open for 12 to 36 hours at most, and really basically the first 12 hours are the best. Hopefully we'll have another one bloom next year around this time, but they're very unpredictable and we don't know when the next time it'll be.